Right, so welcome to my review of the Hot Point uh, Aquarius WML540. So this was released a good few years ago now. We're talking probably about eight, nine years ago. And it's been, uh, well, the market, um, this design has been carried on, but the actual model itself um, disappeared after a few years. All that being said, the newer models are just the same, just maybe with a different load size. But at the time of release, we had uh, the WML um, range, the WMF Aquarius Plus range, and the WMD um, Ultima range, as well as the newly released Hot Point Qualtis range. Um, and there was also a Hot Point First Edition as well, something that was even more basic. Alright, so we'll take a look at this. So this is basically the sort of basic version um, of from Hot Point at the time. Um, but even so, you still ended up with a lot of features. And actually, here's a little secret: the the Hot Point um, Aquarius range had more programs than both than either the Aquarius Plus or the Ultima range. So we'll. Uh, Take a look. So we've got a six kilogram drum capacity in there. Um, got a bit of muck there. Um, it's uh, that's all come out since I blasted it with the uh, the scaler. It's come out from outside the tub. So you have to kind of excuse this, and it's not. In time, it's been cleaned, but not fully cleaned. Um, there's still one or two bits that I need doing. Um, but even so, it's um, in it's extremely clean condition now than what it was when I first got it. Uh, but either way, so uh, we've got uh, Ecotech technology. This makes motor is a standard brush motor, but it's pretty quiet actually during washing um, during spinning it could get a little bit loud but um, not obviously intrusive and uh, it's a relatively good machine the graphite colour I love graphite colour the graphite colour I just seem to have some kind of like you know another thing is that there's WML540 WML520 and WML560 this it donates the basically the spin speed that was available. Uh, so this is a WML 540, 1400 spin, the 520 which is 1200, and the WML 560 which is a 1600 version. Right, so I'll show you the programs anyway. So we get 16 programs, variable temperature, and the variable spin. And this means no spin. And we get uh, four options. So we get reduce creases, which will uh, lower the final spin speed, adjust the spin speeds during the rinses, and add an extra rinse because of the lower spin speeds. And ups the water a little bit, actually. Um, we have mini loads, which is for one kilo or less. Basically, it's for one item or a few items. Um, it automatically locks the cycle onto an automatic like half load function, reducing the amount of water <coughs> and the amount of wash time taken. Extra rinse adds one more stage. It normally does about do two rinses, and extra rinse does three. And super wash. Um, Apart from extending the cycle, it also ups the water level for the wash cycle. Uh, so actually, you can end up with a very sensitive wash uh, with both super wash and extra rinse combined. Which um, I'll show you that actually when we do the wash cycle. Right, so wash programs then. So we've got three lists. We've got essentials, specials, and the eco cycles. And we'll start off with program one. So program 1 says cottons plus uh, 90, 60 and 40. Now it lists all three for a specific reason. If you select cotton 90, um, you will get a 90 degree normal cycle. 
if you select 60 degrees, you get the eco standard cycle for this machine, which is probably about three hours long, thereabouts. If you select 40 on the same program, you get the eco standard for the 40 degree cycle. Program 2 says cotton 60. Now, there's a tiny little icons inside the t-shirt on here. Number 1 has 3, and number 2 has 2. Basically, it's sort of like the degree of soiling, as there's no pre-wash. And uh, so therefore, the length of cycle is, is adjusted. So, cotton 60, available 60 downwards. Um, it's about, about 2 hours long, so it's shorter than program 1. Um, than the eco cycle um, and it's generally for everyday cotton six cotton items um, that's like uh, towels um, bedding stuff like that right three colors 40 so this is for your darks generally um, it's also now known as my mixed colours and stuff like that is uh, about 75 80 minutes long thereabouts um, sort of a short 40 degree wash phase um, to high rinses and final spin um, at maximum uh, 4 is synthetics 5 is fast wash 60 so you can wash 3.5 kilo of lightly soiled uh, cotton uh, up to 60 degrees with, in just one hour. <clears throat> so we now move on to the specials and we've got a uh, first one is baby care which is available at 40 degrees. Um, it's basically a delicate cycle or thereabouts but it's got an extended phase where it just heats the water and keeps the water at 40 degrees to remove uh, stains from your baby's like clothes and bibs and stuff like that. It is pretty effective, I have kind of tried it out uh, on my own baby's clothes, but if you're washing baby soiled items, you're going to need hotter, and that's probably where its downfall is. I, I would want the cycle to be either have two baby care cycles or just have one baby care cycle and like but up to 60 or even 90 degrees. Cheers! Again, it's available up to 40. It's uh, basically a synthetic cycle made for up to like two kilo worth of shirts. And it's automatically got really reduced creases within it. Very high water level for cotton and synthetic mix shirts. Um, giving it a really gentle action and therefore making them crease free. The lingerie cycle is um, a cycle designed for delicate clothing that can be washed and spun uh, so it's available at 30 degrees and it has a short slow spin at 600 rpm uh, number nine is the wool 40 cycle the platinum wool mark cycle which does a distribution wash not allowing the clothes to actually tumble and tangle with each other that's obviously available at 40 degrees and has a short uh, 600 spin at the end. So number 10 is silk, available at 30, and it does a high water level. It's made of only for like one item or two items at most. Of very delicate fabrics that can't even be spun. There's no final spin at all. <clears throat> anyway, so and then we've got three eco cycles: cotton eco, synthetic eco, and fast wash 30 minutes eco so uh, the cotton eco available for full load which I'm not entirely sure is correct because of other models it's actually a reduced load it's the same cycle but what I'm explaining here is basically on other cycles on other machines that have this eco cycle maybe as an option it actually has it says to reduce the load to about three and a half kilo this one says 6 kilo, I don't think that's actually correct because to be honest the 6 kilo version of the eco cycles, eco 20, 20 degrees, stuff like that, uh, which is actually then 3 hours long, not 80 minutes long. It's 80 minutes long and it's designed to work with the uh, gel type detergents effectively. 
Um, synthetics is available with the max loads of synthetics, which is 3 kilo, and fast wash 30 is for 3 kilo, and it will do 3 kilo in cold water in 30 minutes. Then we've got A, B, and C. Uh, so A uh, is 3 rinses and spin. Um, B is the final fast spin of, of whatever it is, 1400 RPM. And then C is just a pump out or drain, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that's the cycles all explained for you. So, how about a demonstration then? So, <clears throat> I'm going to load this uh, up with, um, as I've said before, so what I'm going to load up with is baby clothes. So, when we're doing the wash cycle, our powder detergent goes in here. Um, this centre one doesn't get used for anything at all. It is actually just the pre wash section, but unfortunately, there is no pre wash option or cycle on the machine, so it never gets used. And your fabric softener goes in this corner here. <clears throat> And then we'll swivel that back. And then close the door. Then we're going to select program 2. We'll see it's 60. Uh, you don't have to select 60. We'll leave it at a maximum of 90. We'll shove the spin up, up to maximum as well. We're going to select super wash and extra rinse. So at the top here we've got um, little icons at the side, the one lit up at the minute is uh, wash, then the when it goes into rinse, the rinse one will light up, when it goes into spin, when it, the spin will light up, um, and unless you have drain only as well, but actually at the end of every cycle it will go into drain, which is actually like a fluff up, and then it will light up uh, end. And the door light, light will go out when the, um, it's at the end. Uh, it's got an instant unlock and lock feature, so there's no waiting around for that two minute delay, which is great. And actually, for a, quite a budget machine at the time, and even of today, it's uh, pretty impressive. Right.
Right, so let's take a look then. Let's see how clean they are. So, if the machine is not switched off manually, it will actually switch itself off after around half an hour automatically. Right, and this is impressive. Um, not, it's quite a good machine at actually its actual job. Right, reliability wise, talking about hot points, uh, the hot points don't have the best reliability, but when it comes to terms of parts, for example, uh, parts are cheap. Um, so, hot points are great if you can actually are good um, with appliances or at repairs, or if you're just an engineer. The, the only downside with these machines is if the bearings go, they are in a uh, sealed tub, so they can't be removed, and therefore you'll have to put a new tub on. But other than that, these machines have uh, lasted quite a good while now. Um, they usually get a six or seven years out, but this is a little bit older. But it still seems to be running absolutely bob on, with no faults at all. Excellent wash results, and um, they smell fantastic. Like the softeners got everywhere, rather than just in a little few areas. But then that might be thanks to the actual super wash. But I don't know about the eco cycle, but um, the other cycles tend to give really good results. So overall, I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, just due to the lack of some of the features, but at the same time, you get more features than the Ultima. Which is a bit weird, and then but you don't get the display like you do on the WMF series, so um, it'll get an 8 out of 10. Good solid 8 out of 10. Anyway, thank you for watching this review, hope you enjoyed it.